So when you're talking about the worst video games of all time, there seems to be one game that always jumps to the forefront of the discussion. One game that everyone can agree on, and that is E.T. on the 2600. E.T. on the 2600 is a game that everyone notoriously hates. Hell, there were so many copies made and not sold that they filled up a landfill with these games that was discovered just a few years ago. It was one of the biggest rumors in video game history that was actually confirmed. So E.T. has a notoriously bad track record, nobody seems to like it, and I was one of those people for a long time. But then I thought about it. I had never actually played E.T. on the 2600. I haven't gotten to Atari stuff until just recently when I picked up a 7800. So how could I really say that E.T. is the worst game of all time? How could a lot of people say that E.T. is the worst game of all time when they probably haven't played it, they're just kind of going along with the trend of it being the worst game of all time? Then I thought to myself, well what is the worst game of all time? I wanted to put something up that I could put E.T. against, and I thought of two instances of games that were just so terrible from my youth that they scarred me for life. The first game is Virtual Hidlide? Hidlide? I, I don't know how to say this. It was for the Sega Saturn, and I remember I was probably 12 or 13 and I went to the video game store to rent it. And it looked pretty cool. The box art looked interesting, it had all these cool digitized graphics, and it looked like an open 3D world, which was pretty cool. I loved games like Super Mario 64, which were popular open 3D worlds at the time. And then I got the game, and I put it in my Saturn, and I started to play it. And I saw this. Yeah. So th this was something. So I got attacked by a tree a lot, and the frame rate was really bad, and the graphics were terrible. So I immediately stopped playing it, because this was not an enjoyable game. At all. It was pretty damn bad, honestly, and I was pretty pissed off. I actually went back to the video game store and returned it and got something else. Of course, I don't remember what I actually picked up in place of this, but all I know is Virtual Highlight is one of the worst games I've ever played. But there's another one that pisses me off even more. Ah, the always tried and true Superman 64. Now, when you look at this game, it's just terrible. No one can really seem to justify this game being a thing. The production values are just so low, the graphics are terrible, it's just a mindfuck of a terrible, terrible game. There's no enjoyment to be had. It's a smorgasbord of just randomness. I don't understand how you mess up the Superman license so bad, but Titus managed to do it with Superman 64. The game is just nearly unplayable at times, and I don't understand why this was even released, because honestly, it's not a complete game. So is E.T. really as bad as these games, especially relatively speaking with the hardware? Let's find out. So when I was at my local retro store recently, I found a copy of the game in question, E.T. E.T. Phone Home. E.T. The Extraterrestrial for the 2600. Was this game going to be the worst thing I ever played? Was it going to scar me for life like Virtual Highlight and Superman 64 did? Let's find out. So starting up E.T. on the 2600, I noticed one thing, the graphics of course. And honestly, I don't think they're that bad. Sure, they're not great or anything, but this is the 2600. It's not a graphical powerhouse. It was just what it was. You had to use your imagination with it. And within using your imagination, it doesn't look terrible. Sure, E.T. looks a little bit wonky, and I don't really get why they made the sprite look so weird, but it's a decent representation of E.T., and I think it gets the job done. So the whole point of this game is to find phone pieces so that you can phone home and go back to your home planet. Now you do this by going around the map and looking at different locations, falling into pits and getting phone pieces. Now additionally, everything you do in the game kind of takes away from your life bar. So to refill this, you find Reese's Pieces pieces, say that three times fast, and pick them up and it helps bring your life bar back up. Now playing this game can be a bit confusing because it's an Atari 2600 game. A lot of these games were confusing. But I kind of picked up on it pretty quick and I started to be able to move around the map and figure out what I needed to do pretty easily. So once I got adjusted to it, once you get adjusted to it being a 2600 game, it's honestly not all that bad. Sure, it's not great, but I could see where they were going with this. Maybe it wasn't a finished product that they wanted to release and they had to release it early to get the Christmas sales, but it's nowhere near as bad as people really make it out to be in my opinion. And there's actually one thing I find really nice, and that's the FBI guy sprite. This sprite is an NES quality sprite in both animation and detail, and it's pretty impressive to see it running on the 2600. All in all, E.T. just didn't feel like a terrible, terrible game. It wasn't great, I didn't have a lot of fun with it, but I saw the vision, I saw where they were going with it. So, does this make E.T. the worst game of all time?
When I look at Virtual Highlight, when I look at Superman 64, and I look at games on the Saturn and the N64 and compare it to them, games like Knights, Die Hard Arcade on the Saturn, games like Super Mario 64, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, and then you look at the game Virtual Highlight, you look at the game Superman 64, you can see a huge discrepancy. You can see that these are some of the worst games of all time. While playing other 2600 games, I don't get that feeling with E.T. I think that E.T. is a misunderstood game. It's not nearly as bad as people make it out to be. It's not going to be on anyone's top 10 list. It's not one of the greatest games of all time, but it's certainly not the worst game of all time. There is some enjoyment to be had, especially when you keep it relative to what the 2600 was all about. So E.T., the worst game of all time? No. I would put Virtual Highlight or Superman 64 way ahead of it on the list. What do you think about E.T. on the 2600? Do you think it's the worst game of all time, or do you think that it's been unfairly critiqued by people? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Later.